bulletin is live on tv3network.com. It is also on TV3's um, uh, page or our channel on DSTV channel 279. We start with a big one. Let's start with a big one. Our Progressive Alliance Movement, a non-political, non-ethnic ethnic advocacy group has, uh, based in New York City, has filed a suit at the High Court, praying the court to cause the Electoral Commission to immediately implement the representation of the People's Amendment Law, ROPA Act 699. The representation of the People's Amendment Law is to allow Ghanaians living abroad to register and vote in elections held in Ghana. Article 42 of the 1992 Constitution, which states every citizen of Ghana of 18 years of age or above and of sound mind has the right to vote and is entitled to be registered as a voter for the purposes of public elections and referenda. Let's go on to the phone lines now and speak to Kofi Krantin, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Progressive Alliance Movement. Good evening, sir, and thanks for your time. Good evening. How are you doing? Good to have us on the call. I'm being excellent. Now, let's get to the substantive issue. Um, why the move by your movement? Why the move by our... I didn't, I didn't hear the last part. Now, I'm asking you, why the move uh, to sue the EC at this point in time? Well... Uh, this uh, saga started um, two years ago. We wrote letters to the then uh, chairman, Afer Jun, uh, and uh, lately uh, in August of last year, uh, we wrote a letter to Mrs. Charlotte Osei. Uh, so it's not, uh, I know the time, and it almost seems as if we planned this for an election season, but this has been going on for quite some time now, uh, and it's only because the Electoral Commission has not responded to or heeded to any of our uh, calls. That's why it ended up at uh, the High Court. And we had no other option but to go to the High Court, and, and now it's hit the fan, and everybody's getting to know about it, and it almost seems as if we almost just started um, uh, hitting or, you know, letting everybody know we have a suit uh, against the Electoral Commission. So it's been going on for some time now. Now, in page 40 of the Electoral Commission Strategic Plan, uh, 2016 to 2020, uh, it acknowledges the need for a roadmap for ROPA impl implementation. Why not wait for the Commission to get its uh, acts together uh, before they implement the ROPA? Why should we? I mean, they, they, we, they've had this mandate for over 10 years now, and uh, we have absolutely no reason uh, uh, to sit and wait when, after 10 years, we have written letters to Electoral Commission uh, on numerous occasions. I have personally uh, come down to their office, and uh, we haven't had any response from them. So uh, uh, to say that we should sit and wait for them to delay the process another year and a half, two years, will be ridiculous. Uh, we, uh, this, is, this is a human rights issue. And I don't think uh, you will agree with me or you would say that anybody has to de be deprived of a right uh, as a citizen uh, just because the Electoral Commission has not done their job. Uh, we absolutely have no reason to sit and wait after over 10 years of waiting. Uh, we think the timing is right now, and because some others uh, at the embassies and the missions um, in different countries uh, exercise the ROPA law, and they vote. And we don't understand why some citizens of Ghana who work in the missions conveniently so uh, will have the opportunity uh, to vote, and the rest of the Ghanaians who live uh, outside of Ghana, who live um, uh, in all these different parts of the world, uh, cannot vote. It doesn't make sense to us. We're grateful for your time. Kofi Kranton is the Chief Executive Officer of Progressive Alliance, and they are definitely dragging the EC to court 
on the ROPA implementation.